Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 17, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And uh, today we have been back and forward. We did break down a little bit, but not nearly enough uh, um, for uh, buy-in for this. I am looking for a break towards the downside, towards the 20 exponential moving average. That is roughly at 3,866. That is where I think this will, uh, that is where I hope this will go and where I think also people will start buying it uh, towards 4,000. Uh, when we get, if we rally from to 4,000 here, I'm pretty sure that people will start uh, selling and uh, it will drop down. This but I think that we are going to see a pullback before that. We are getting very close to the top of the Bollinger Band. We are at the top of the channel here. So some kind of uh, bad news and this will basically tumble to the downside. We are in this channel here. We, we, have, been, we have had periods where we have been touching this channel for uh, quite some time. It's like back down here and also here and also here. And then it has turned around. I don't think that we're going to see a drastic fall like we saw uh, back in, in the end of January, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly 3,866 at this point, that is uh, possible at this point. Uh, if we break, to, uh, break below the 20 exponential, we could head towards the 50, that's at 3,775 at this current stage. Bollinger Band is a little bit lower, but that could happen if people start completely panic selling or something like that. Then we could go towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is roughly around 3,734. Technical indicators are still very bullish. There is still room to the upside. We're at 59 here in the RSI. But as you can see, we are at the top of the channel and close to the top of the bullish band. And at this point, we could look at... Um, it is about to look at the four-hour chart for the for the stochastic to see whether or not we're turning around. And even there, we're still bullish. And also in the one-hour chart, we're actually turning around in the one-hour chart. So this is continuing to the upside, but um, pullbacks are buying opportunities. To buy it here is very, very risky. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow also fell and then rallied. We're up 0.32 at this point. We're trading at 31,558. And uh, at this point, there is some room to the upside. We could uh, go all the way to 31,800 and round 30 uh, before we hit at the top of the Bollinger Band. We're only at 59 in the RSI. Stuck other technical indicators at the moment are still fairly bullish so we could continue um, to the upside but pullbacks towards a 20 exponential at 31,000 that it will be very attractive for a lot of buyers and also towards the 50 moving average here at 30,700 give or take that is also a massive buying um, buying opportunity at that stage so let's look at the Nasdaq so as you can see, we are, we can extend this here. We are basically right in the middle of this channel. Give or take there. So right in the middle of the channel here, we are down at this current stage by 0 0.10. And um, at this point, I'm looking for a pullback towards roughly the 20 exponential moving average, which at this stage is around which is around 13,500, give or take. So pull back towards this area here and a target of 14,000 or even 15,000 for the long run. Uh, break below the 50 move, uh, the 20 exponential moving average opens the door to the 20, uh, 40 exponential moving average, which is uh, roughly at 13,180 or the 50 moving average right here, which is at uh, 13,000. Um, that would be massive 
uh, buying area. We didn't even get there when we dropped down here. But most of the tech sector is very, very overstretched at this point. But still, we need to look at the technical indicators in order to determine when this is going to drop. And at this moment, they are still looking very, very bullish. So, yes, it was looking, it looked like we were going to drop earlier today, but it rallied yet again. And at this point, we are fairly close to the, to the top of the Bollinger Band, but last time we were out, way outside before we started breaking down. It's now we could see probably um, on Thursday we will go outside if we continue rallying here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, bell button, see your newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.